Our topic here is illustrating the different circular functions. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to illustrate the different circular functions. Remember that in a unit circle, the arc length s can be measured in different directions. That is, s is positive when measured in counterclockwise direction and s is negative when the direction is clockwise. If s is zero, then no arc is measured. We also have learned from the previous topics that the arc length of a circle is the product of the central angle theta in radian measure and radius r. Here, in the illustration of a unit circle, r is equal to 1. So s, which is measured in linear units such as inches or centimeters, is numerically equal to theta measured in radians. Now let us understand what are circular functions. Please take note that the angle theta in radians found by choosing a point on the unit circle can be rewritten as functions of the arc length s where s is a real number. When interpreted this way, the functions are called circular functions. Let us consider theta in standard position and p of theta equal to the point p with the coordinates x and y such that this point is on the terminal side of the central angle theta that intersects the unit circle. Then it is said that the function sine theta is equal to y and the cosine theta is equal to x or the coordinate y is equal to sine theta and the coordinate x is equal to cosine theta. Sine theta can be written this form and cosine theta can be written in this form. These two circular functions are defined through the point on the terminal side of theta on the unit circle. To complete the six circular functions, we have the remaining four circular functions defined again through the point on the terminal side of the central angle theta on the unit circle. We have tangent theta is equal to y over x, cotangent theta is equal to x over y, secant theta is equal to 1 over x, cosecant theta is equal to 1 over y. Please take note that these functions can be written in this form. Let's have an example. The illustration shows a unit circle with central angle theta equal to pi halves. That is, it terminates at the positive y-axis and its point on the terminal side is 0, 1. Now what is sine pi halves? Or what is cosine pi halves? By the definition, we have sine pi halves is equal to 1 because point P has y coordinate equal to 1 and cosine pi halves is equal to 0 because the x coordinate of P on the terminal side on the unit circle on the unit circle is 0. Let's have another example. Looking at this, it's a unit circle with central angle theta equal to pi over 3. And the point on the terminal side on the unit circle is 
P with X coordinate 1 half and Y coordinate square root of 3 over 2. This clearly shows that sine pi over 3 is equal to square root of 3 over 2 and cosine pi over 3 is equal to 1 half. We will learn more on the exact values of the circular functions to our next lesson. Thank you.